Warriors, welcome to the final video of 2020, my friends. It's been a year of chaos, turmoil, but within that turmoil, there has been a silver lining. There are so many people around the world that are coming to me and saying, Dennis, there's a lot going on in my life and other people's lives dealing with certain viruses and such, dealing with other people's anxieties. But at the same time, I'm finding that I'm getting more in touch with a, an awakening of some sort. And this awakening, sometimes they can clarify, sometimes they can't, and truly it doesn't matter because these people who are experiencing an awakening going on this year, which will progress into 2021, know that they are on the right path. And as long as you feel at the deepest levels that you are on the right path and you are progressing, whether that be slow or fast progress, it's a good feeling. And it's getting you back in touch with your true self. So what I want to do today is I want to create some clear intentions for 2021 in terms of health anxiety, but at the same time, these intentions, these focuses can also be focused on different aspects of anxiety as well. So let's not compartmentalize and say, this is just for this. This is an overall healing journey, my friend. It has nothing to do specifically with this type of anxiety or that type of anxiety. It has everything to do with transformation. So let's go there today. The first intention for 2021 is to focus on becoming more and focus on healing health anxiety or any other type of anxiety less. This is a concept that can be tricky to understand and grasp, especially at the beginning stages of any type of anxiety. Because when you experience anxiety, it's the only thing that you really focus on as you're going through the day. It doesn't matter whether you're speaking to someone or it doesn't matter whether you're engaged in something going on on the outside. Anxiety tends to take up our full focus our feelings, our emotions, our thought processes, it overwhelms us. But in 2021, our goal is to focus on becoming more and focus on healing anxiety less. Because when you focus on healing anxiety, you're only focusing on one aspect of you. Experiencing anxiety is focusing greatly on certain parts of you and discrediting other parts of you. So in order for us to heal anxiety, we have to go beyond the idea of healing anxiety. And we have to take on this idea of creating a new identity, getting back in touch with our true, natural, creative, and unique selves. So I want you to understand this. Let's focus on becoming more. Who are we becoming? Who am I in my center? And how can I begin feeling like I am connected to everyone and everything rather than feel like I am disconnected from everything and everyone? So becoming more and healing anxiety less. Number two is get to know your true self better. And it goes hand in hand with number one. Get to know your true self better in 2021. You know, when we came to this world, we were a blank slate, right? We were very intuitive. We didn't have the cognitive capabilities or capacities, but we were very intuitive. And we were looking to connect with others without playing any kind of game, right? 
We went to the schoolyard and we would say, oh, there's Johnny, right? It didn't matter if Johnny was tall or a different color or gender, or, you know, all of these things. We just said, you know what, there's a being, there's a human being there. And we had a deep sense of love within us. And as we grow into anxiety, and as we grow into a mold of a parent or other authority figure, we tend to associate love to fear. We tend to become very uncomfortable with the word love. Anytime we think about self-love, we feel a sense of rejection. We feel like we don't deserve it. We feel like we haven't earned it. So in 2021, we have to see beyond these ideas, my friends, because these ideas are not yours. These ideas that have turned into belief systems, that turn into feelings, that turn into emotions, that turn into habits, are from others. So getting to know your true self better means spending time with yourself more. Not going from one fun thing or one stimulating thing to the next, but spending time with yourself in discomfort, getting to know your true self better. Are you doing that? You know, the truth is, is that I learned my greatest lessons in silence, in silence, not stimulated by someone or something, but in silence. But it wasn't that I was learning the lessons right away either. These lessons came later on. The clarity came later on. The understanding of who I truly am came later on. And many times when we don't understand something right away, we tend to discredit it. We tend to move away from it. This isn't your true self. This is your instinct saying, hey, we don't want to make another mistake here. We don't want you to feel stupid. So in order for you not to feel stupid, move away from this thing you don't understand and move towards familiarity. If we continue to live our lives around what is familiar, we will never grow into the person we want to become. And that is the truth, my friends. Number three intention comes down to doing the deeper healing work. The deeper healing work. Let me tell you something. It wasn't until I did the deeper healing work that I began to heal. But there are so many people out there that are afraid of doing the deeper healing work. Regression to cause somatic work, energy work. We tend to get stuck in the cognitive and the behavioral forms of healing because we can grasp those ideas. We can understand that if we can expose ourselves to something and if we can think our way through a situation Maybe, just maybe, we can heal the feelings that we're feeling on the inside. But let me tell you something. I'm a huge fan of CBT, but at the same time, CBT by itself is quite limited. And it's not until we realize that we have things within us that we are carrying, emotional baggage, emotional weight, that we need to let go of that we realize that healing only takes place within courage, within a certain amount of discomfort, even emotional and sometimes even physical pain. And so I want you to look deeper in 2021. I want you to realize that, yes, it's comfortable to continue to do the same things you're doing each and every day, and therefore feel like you can hang on to what you currently have. But let me tell you something, by doing the deeper work, by doing the deeper work, you're actually gonna heal rather than continue to manage your symptoms. There is a big difference here. Number four, 
is focus on quality, not quantity, when it comes to your self-care work. My friends, this is so important. Because no matter what you're doing, you have to put your heart into it. You have to put your heart into it. There is a tremendous amount of energy within you that you are afraid of, and you are internalizing, and you are suppressing that energy. Rather, use that energy to give yourself fully to some kind of deeper healing work. I remember when I was doing work around shamanic healing. I remember when I was doing work around somatic healing and regression work. I remember clearing my traumas. I remember recognizing where I was holding the emotion, where I was holding the trauma, and I was getting very, very emotional, my friends, very emotional. I was crying, I was sweating, and I was yawning. I was getting in touch with that deeper side of me, that inner child that wanted to be loved, that wanted to be accepted, that wanted to grow. I was neglecting that inner child for so long. And so I realized that I had to put more quality. I had to put more heart into my healing, just as you have to. I'm speaking directly to you right now. It's not okay to cope. It's not okay to manage. It is okay to love that inner child within you at a deeper level. And it is okay to put your heart into your healing work, therefore become more absorbed in what you're doing. So focus on quality rather than quantity. I used to focus on, oh my God, I have to do this and then this, I have to heal every moment of every day. Am I doing this correctly or not correctly? Most of the time I felt like I wasn't doing anything correctly. And overthinking is the enemy. Overthinking is the defense mechanism by the inner child to say, you know what, don't change. This anxiety and this stress has gotten us this far. It has kept us alive. Why would you want to change everything now? So we overthink. Thinking that overthinking is in fact the way, when in fact it's a defense mechanism, keeping you from realizing what the way truly is. Number five, intention for healing anxiety, health anxiety in 2021 is explore and make friends with the unfamiliar, with the unfamiliar. Many times with anxiety, we tend to go to the same talk therapist. And I have a tremendous amount of love for talk therapists. I do. And I've got love for different healing methodologies out there. Anything can work at any time for anybody. But we tend to go to that talk therapist, just in as, as an example, because it's familiar. Because we are certain to feel a certain amount of connection with a certain person. Or whatever method you are currently using. It's familiar to you. And because it's familiar, you feel a certain amount of safety around what you're doing. But you have to go deeper. You have to go beyond familiarity if you're going to heal anxiety and move on to your true identity for good. So in 2021, I want you to explore the unfamiliar. If you get a sense that something is unfamiliar, become curious over it, just as you were as a young beautiful and intuitive child. You lost that capability, but you still have it within you. Everything that I am teaching you, everything that we are discussing in the comments section, isn't something that you don't already know. The truth is, is that there are walls and blocks blocking you from seeing what you need to see and tapping into what you need to tap into. That's it. As you explore the unfamiliar, 
And as you make it your friend, you're going to find that a tremendous amount of growth awaits you, my friends. This is the truth. So explore, become curious, and don't get stuck in familiarity because that is what grows your anxiety. 2020 was a learning opportunity. 2021 is an applying opportunity. Remember that? I want you right here, right now, to recognize whether you were inspired from this video and give this video a like. Along with that like, I want you to comment below and let me know your greatest moment of clarity from this video so that I can hopefully comment back and we can create a discussion and move you forward. 2021 is your year. But if you're listening to this prior to 2021, don't wait. Start now. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Remember that you are more than anxiety and you are becoming more than anxiety moving into 2021. If you have any other questions on the number one healing recovery program for anxiety out there today, head on over to this website right here and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye my friends. Bye my warriors. Love you all.